All right, so this is the start of a video blog by Mrs. Connolly. Hey, this is Mrs. C, and join me for a day or two of what we do in room 251. We got a classroom library, because in this room, reading is important. Everybody's ready to get a lot done? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, well, we have good intentions. We'll talk to you later. We always start class with a book talk, and today we talked about A Balance Broken, part of the Dragon Soul Saga. This author is actually visiting us on Monday, which is exciting. And then we are um, reading, because after a book talk every day, students get time to read whatever they would like to read. Okay, so this is the beginning of fourth hour in Mrs. Connolly's class, and these are all my other fabulous freshmen. And tell me, Kirk Clark, what is the best thing about being in Mrs. Connolly's English class? You're the best teacher in here. Oh, yeah, I'm the best teacher in the room. Yeah. All right. In the spirit of John Green, here's an open letter. An open letter to the students of GCHS. Granite City is a great place to live, work, and enjoy time with people you care about. And whether it's the folks up the hill or those thousands of miles away, don't let anyone tell you differently. The tribe at GCHS always has your back. We have great opportunities for extracurricular involvement, nice facilities, caring staff members, and plenty of course offerings to help you learn what you need to succeed. Big dreams are important, and it's okay to want to leave this place, explore new places, and conquer the world. But wherever you go and whatever you do, know you are forever a warrior. Sincerely, your teachers at GCHS. Okay, it's Friday, and that means it's Right Club, so we're going to check it out. So this is Friday Right Club. Question, best thing about Mrs. Connolly's class? Okay. So it's second hour and it's Friday and we we're here for Right Club. Hi. Best thing about Mrs. Connolly's class. Uh, reading. reading whatever I want. Yeah, reading just whatever. What? Ashley Peck just said reading? Wow. <laughs> And here we are, ready to look at papers. It's right club. Okay, so another thing I thought I'd talk about is how my class actually works. Um, everything I do in class is based on something called the Reader Writer Workshop model. And in teacher terms, that sounds really scary, like we just workshop everything, but it really means that your class runs in a sequence. So um, there's always some time to read. Usually we introduce a book, you get some time to read. Um, there's some time to write. Several days a week we do what I call quick writes and they're random topics where you just generate your own thought on a page. We sometimes have a study of whatever it is we're learning now, so that may include some reading or some work or some practice um, with topics that we're looking at followed by sometimes sharing. So if we get time, sometimes we share things we quick wrote or we share um, other things we're working on, work in groups, those things. Um, in my primarily writing classes, we often have a day of the week that we go write in the lab and that is followed by a day where we work in writing groups and those writing groups um, give us a lot of feedback. We work on how to work in them so that we can really improve what we do as readers and writers. The whole thing is predicated on choice, having the choice of what to read, having the choice of what to write about, and within those parameters, being able to improve ourselves um, so that we become better writers and that we can become lifelong readers because that can stay with you forever. I forgot to say that I weave all those things in no matter what class I'm teaching. So whether you are taking freshman English or a senior honors class, or you're a junior or senior taking, um, you know, just another literature class. We still work all those elements in and manage to take care of all the things we need to do to learn what takes you to the next best place. Okay, one final thought for this vlog, and it's this. Let's get it on. Ah, Let's get it on.